Good afternoon, everyone. It is Colonel Aldous Valor here with you once again. And today's video is about honesty. Not really, but it plays a role. Today's video is actually about the founding of Tumblr 2.0, which is formerly Reddit. Used to, you know, used to be Reddit. It's now Tumblr 2.0. It's a place for SJWs to gather and, and post all of their man-hate all day long without fear of reprisal because there's nobody left on the site to uh, oppose them. I argue that the beginning of the end of Reddit was the day of the fattening, but um, truly, truly, the beginning of the end is, it's got to be, it, you know, if you don't believe me that it was the, the day of the fattening, it's, it's tomorrow. New Reddit CEO, new old Reddit CEO, I should say, uh, Stephen Huffman, is hosting an AMA about the new policy changes that are taking place on Reddit. He also swears and declares that neither he nor Alexis Ohanian ever said, ever, not once, have they ever said that Reddit was a bastion of free speech. Never once have they ever said that, except when they did. And uh, I'll provide links to a screenshot of a portion of a 2002 interview on uh, Forbes.com down below. I'll also provide a link to an archived article of that entire interview from 2002 down below as well. The uh, references made in the screenshots show up at the bottom of page three. Now, Agent of Doubt once made a, a, a video recently, I should say. He once made it long, long ago. He recently made a video to Jenny McFermuff about uh, <coughs> uh, hypocrisy. And that in, you know, in eight years' time, people can change their minds. And it wouldn't be hypocrisy if they changed their minds. And that's fine. And that's true. You know, 2002 is even further away. That's 13 years ago. That's, 2000, that's 2002, that's 13 years ago that Alexis Sohanian said that Reddit was, quote, a bastion of free speech on the World Wide Web. It's not hypocrisy to come out today, 13 years later, and say that they never said that Reddit was a bastion of free speech. Saying that Reddit was never a bastion of free speech is an example of out-and-out -out lying. It's not hypocrisy, it's lying. If he came out and said, well, we've changed our minds on a few things, we want to start running Reddit like a business, that would be one thing. But that's not what's going on here. Chairman Powell, Ellen Powell, the last previous CEO of Reddit, was a powerless figurehead, it seems, who was set up to fail. She was set up to take all of the heat from everybody on the day of the fattening. According to uh, Yishan Wong, another Reddit admin, and I believe the first CEO of Reddit, um, that Ellen Powell was actually a defender of free speech and that she, she opposed the fattening. And then, and then goes on to go, you know, neener, 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 you know, we, we gave you a chance and you failed, neener, neener, neener. And that's another example of lying. Because Ellen Powell was one of two things. She was either a driving force behind Reddit's censorship or a powerless figurehead that had nothing to do with the decision and that the decision was made by the board. So whether she was behind it or powerless to stop it, Either way, the result is still the same. Here we are at Tumblr 2.0. All of them, Alexis, Steven, and Yishan, are all fucking, you know, white knights standing up for the land whale pussy and, and doing whatever they can to, 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 make, to make it profitable. And here's what they're doing. They're trying to make Reddit more like Facebook. They want, they want the Mark Zuckerberg success story. That's what they want. They're trying to make Reddit more like Facebook. And now a lot of you may remember that over the, uh, it was about a year ago, last summer, 
I closed out my Facebook account and left entirely. Fuck Facebook. I don't need it anymore. I don't want it. <clears throat> Facebook can access your cameras and mics at any time. Anytime they want. You agree to this when you sign up to Facebook. Facebook also decides what you see. They pick and choose what comes up in your feed. That's what Reddit's doing now. They're picking and choosing what comes up on the front page. Here you go, Reddit's front page. Whee! How fantastic. Great. Yippee for them. But they're also doing something a bit more sinister. They're going to switch to something called native advertising, which is something I brought up in a previous video, which I will also link to in the description. There will be several other links in the description, uh, lots of screenshots and shit, but a, a link to my video in, in, in the description of this one about uh, native advertising and how horrible it is. And if you missed that video, what native advertising is, is disguising advertisements as content. And that's what they're going to be doing from now on. The end of Reddit is tomorrow, people. If you love Reddit, or even if you respected Reddit, it's not what it used to be anymore. And their motives for the change is, it, it'd be a lot different if they were just out in the open about it. But they're not. They're going to drive away everybody that made Reddit unique, myself included. So if you're a Redditor, Right now, I strongly encourage you to leave. I've been Aldous Valor, and you can go fuck the dog.